I bought this new Dior's Judo Low in 2023, riding on a hyped up train of perfume enthusiasts who were looking forward to try out the first perfume Maison Fersen's Corjan would create for Dior as the new creative director for the perfume house after replacing the iconic master perfumer Francois de Machy. But it took me almost a year to form my own opinion about this fragrance and to make this in the review regardless of its immense hype. So how it smells and performs? Is this a masterpiece as some have expected from Francis Kurdjian and would you like it? Well you will find out in this video. Welcome or welcome back, I'm Miri and here we talk in depth about fragrances. First let's talk about the inspiration for this fragrance. The original Jador is well known for the glamorous golden bottle. Francis Kurdjian wanted to continue that gold theme but he shifted the focus from the golden bottle on the gold within the original Jador. In one of his interviews Kurdjian said, the flowers are the gold of Jador. To make the purest quality of gold you have to heat it and make it liquid so the impurities evaporate. We tried to build a parallel with the perfume itself. What if we get rid of the unnecessary in the formula? What if we try to make it more concise? And that explains what to expect from this new low version. It's more focused on the floral gold of Jador without the other notes that would distract the user. The scent comes in a gorgeous bottle in iconic drop-shaped flaken with the textured necklace on the cap that looks like melted liquid gold compared to the stacked bangles of the original. I like the fact that the cap is now made out of glass instead of the plastic in the previous versions. But what about its scent? I absolutely love the sunlit sparkling opening of this new Judo Low, but be warned, the opening is very heady, strong and opulent. The scent is floral from the start with noticeable orange blossom and jasmine in the background but it's sweet and it's slightly tropical as well. Compared to the original where you get peachy nuances in the opening, here I can smell ripe succulent mango with some banana like ylang ylang was added to the composition because i got that characteristic dense creamy honeyed banana ylang ylang aroma even though it's not listed in the notes and i really like the polarity of bright refreshing and clean and elegant white florals next to solar lively tropical playful honeyed mango and banana fruitiness so the opening smells like a combination of elegant orange blossom bouquet and a rich smooth and golden banana mango parfait which is a cold dessert made with whipped cream eggs and fruits. I would be very happy if the scent stayed like this throughout the wear because it's quite sweet, it's sunlit, bright, playful and it gives a golden aura mixed with tropical warm lush fruits and this white florals that ground that fruity tropical vibe. But after 15 minutes the scent starts to change from bright youthful and playful opening to a more mature floral dry down. Jasmine shines the most in the heart and you also get like a powdery violet and some freshness with a hint of like slightly sour greenish note probably from lily of the valley and heavier indolic jasmine. I don't get a lot of rose here but I can smell like in a far away distance something like a rose lemonade or even like rose soapiness but it's very faint but mostly what you get up front is indolic jasmine with honeyed sweetness some powderiness and slight freshness that gives a chilly dewy effect while in the base Jido Lo turns a bit more ambery and muskier but jasmine is still the most prominent note. So imagine dewy jasmine flowers with green leaves sprinkled with a drop of golden honey. This is mainly how the dry down of Jido Lo smells. It's quite simplistic decadently lush white floral bouquet 
starring Jasmine drenched in golden sunshine as a star player while still retaining Jasmine's cold, fresh, chilly and silver white facets. It's ladylike, very pretty floral perfume with enough sweetness and freshness. Jido Lo truly smells like a part of Jido line because it has signature Jasmine and there were two previous versions of Jido Lo, one from 2010 and one from 2017. In 2010 version of Jido Lo, the scent was infused with vanilla, amber and patchouli while in 2017 jasmine was accompanied by ylang ylang so that version was much fruitier with prominent yellow florals and rose compared to this extremely jasmine dominant fragrance that is fruity only for the first 15 minutes and then it turns into a jasmine bouquet type of fragrance but it doesn't smell like photorealistic jasmine you know like you're smelling jasmine flowers straight from the jasmine bush because this is perfumey but in a good way. Jido Lo gives me huge wedding vibes. I can imagine a spring wedding on a sunny day with sunshine brightly shining on the bride's open shoulders while she's wearing this as her bridal fragrance. It feels classy, grown up and sophisticated but with a contemporary twist making the scent a bit more luminous and sand bathed in golden liquid even though it's never too sweet it's never sticky or like sugary floral perfume on my skin it lasts up to four hours initially it projects really strongly it fills a room but then it settles closer to the skin on clothes yes it lasts longer like eight plus hours this is a fragrance you need to spray both on your skin and on your clothes to last even though initially it's quite heady and strong. Therefore I would rate its performance with 6 out of 10. And scent wise this is a floral perfume from start to finish and even though it feels simplistic it's a high quality sophisticated perfume that is very well balanced. It's not too sweet, it's not too indolic and it perfectly reflects pure liquid gold changing its color from cold white florals to sweet fruity honeyed golden facets. I do like the scent and I would rate it with 8 out of 10 but stay tuned until the end to find out why was I struggling to make an in-depth review of this perfume for a year. If you found this video helpful then boop the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content coming up. But what are the pros and cons of the new Jido Lo which should you be aware of before blind buying it? The first negative point is that it has a mature vibe and many people associate floral perfumes with mature granny type of fragrances so if you dislike florals this will smell a bit too mature for you especially because the entire Jido range is targeted towards 30 and up audience even though the initial spray of this new Jido Lo smells very youthful, bright and playful. I've noticed that in a addition to performance many complain this is nothing new so this is a second negative point it feels too simple it lacks a bit of innovation it smells a bit boring and one-dimensional floral jasmine perfume and many have hoped francis kardijan will reinvent the scent of jido give it something new and special but this was instead a pretty white floral wedding perfume that is unfortunately nothing groundbreaking to justify a very high price tag. And now let's talk about positive points and the first one is versatility because this is a perfume that can be worn all year round both for daytime and nighttime occasions so it has a signature quality and it fits both for casual outings and special occasions. So if you want a perfume that will evoke a scent of luxury, class and give you all the money-like vibes try out Jido Lo. And the second positive point is that this is a true jasmine scent. If you love 
florals and you want just a jasmine perfume without being drowned in vanilla then this will be something for you it's different compared to other trending sweet gourmand perfumes and i like that it doesn't follow the current but rather stays faithful to the timeless floral elegance here's what my experience was wearing this perfume when i purchased it i was so excited to try it out but the initial spray was so loud. It was too floral and it had this like mature sweetness. It felt like the scent was done hundreds of times before. I was underwhelmed, especially after hearing a lot of influencers praising this fragrance on YouTube. I was hoping that Francis Corgina would add some interesting notes that would revive Jidor line and make it a bit closer to younger audience, but the scent is still overall serious and just elegant. With time, I got used to heady white florals in here and now I particularly love the fruity opening with this tropical vibe of mango and banana. But to be completely honest, this still isn't a love or a must-have perfume for me. That's why I didn't want to make a perfume review on it as soon as I got it because I could already see all the dislike buttons on the video. But now I do enjoy the scent. It's a well-executed floral perfume with some sunny sweetness and freshness. Overall, Judo Lo is a jasmine bomb and if you're into jasmine dominant fragrances or white florals in general, then yes, I would highly recommend you to check out Judo Lo. Three words or adjectives to describe this scent would be elegant, sunlit jasmine and my overall rating for the scent profile and performance is 7 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what was your wearing experience with Jido Law and I can't wait to read your thoughts. And don't forget to like the video so it could spread to more people. If you would like to see Anna's in-depth review of another perfume, then check out this video next. I hope you will like it and I will see you there. Bye!